is this, the ultimate combination of a work boot and a city boot. Or something you'd wear, say, in an urban environment and something you might wear, say, uh, logging. Well, that's certainly the goal of this, the Urban Logger by NYX Handmade Boots. It is finally happening after four and a half years of running a boot channel, NYX doing NYX. I finally got around to reviewing NYX Handmade Boots. This is a massive institution in Pacific Northwest boots and some of the heaviest, meatiest boots you are ever going to find. The Urban Logger boot, I have worn for at least an hour of walking every day for two months. And as you can see, they have barely aged at all. Nonetheless, I think I've put in enough time to give you a solid review so you know what you can expect with this model. Everything about the construction and how to know if these very particular boots are right for your particular needs because these boots, they deserve some serious thought. So NYX is synonymous with the Pacific Northwest and the hardy boot wearing men who have populated the region for a generation, right? Like men's manly, men, men, men. You know, NYX is famous for making fireproof boots for firefighters and extra tall boots for linemen and spiky boots for loggers. But of course, a brand with as much heritage and craftsmanship and toughness as NYX also makes footwear for the weekend. So when workers approach them to say, look, I love these 12 inch tall boots for my day job, but do you have anything that's also quite supportive, but a bit less overbuilt for the weekends, they get boots like the Americana or the Robert or the Falcon, which are their flagship casual boots. In fact, Nick says that this boot takes the best features of our serious work boots, lug sole, lugger heel, brass hardware, and combines them with the heritage look of the Robert. So sitting between the two, the definitely for work and the definitely for casual wear, is the Urban Logger, a fusion of styles that seems to say to boot guys, all right, you say you wear boots because they're tough and have been worn for generations as work wear and, and you insist that you don't wear boots as a fashion accessory. Well, let's see. What your mind your mouth is. Try these on for size and see how you like a boot built for work, albeit with an upper that's more fashionable. Now, look guys, I'll be straight with you. I'm not a lumberjack. I do wear boots because I think they look cool and age well and are really supportive and require a lot of skill to make and a lot of legitimate reasons, but none of them are chopping down trees. So I'd say I'm right in that target of city guy who's thinking about trying something more rugged and you might be as well. So why might the Urban Logger be for you? Well, look, for one, like all of Nick's boots, it's extremely customizable, right? You can pick your toe shape, eyelets, hooks, toe cap style, edge color, and a bunch of other elements here as well. Guys love the individuality that you get with your Nick's boots. And of course, there's the leather. And there is a lot of cow in this boot, both in the upper and in the sole. But let's start with the upper, right? This is seven to eight ounces, meaning 2.8 to 3.2 millimeters thick, which is just crazy. Your average red wing is two to 2.2 millimeters thick, and that's considered pretty thick by most guys. Like dress leather shoes are like, I don't know, one to one and a half millimeters, and that's what most people are used to. This particular leather is a newer one called the 1964 Tan Rough Out. Nick has a whole video on how they came up with this leather. Basically, they copped the boots of someone who worked for Nick's in the 70s and tried to replicate the leather on the old boots he was wearing. They called the 1964 because that's when Nick's was founded. It took them two years to devise this particular leather, a leather they were very attracted to because they were impressed by the unusual balance of suppleness and durability. So to achieve that, the 1964 line, and it comes in a couple of colors, is pumped with lots of waxes and oils so that it's long lasting, but also soft. A bonus of which is an easier break-in, which I'm very happy to announce I experienced. When I first got these and felt how heavy they are, I was pretty worried about the tough break-in. I have an agonizing break-in ahead of myself, but I didn't get any blisters, which is insane when you think about all the leather that's packed in here. And then there's the rest of the boot. The Urban Logger has a thick vegetable tanned leather midsole. It's nine iron or 4.8 millimeters thick. There's leather shank, which uh, kind of ages better than steel shanks that conforms the shape of your foot over time. There's an intense Vibram V100 sole. They're very dramatic arch and the very, very tall logger heel, which I clocked in at two, a little over two inches. The quality control is fantastic, assist density is really good, and there's just not a hair out of place on these boots. And here I'll talk about the fit and the comfort. Fit-wise, I just got my usual boot size, which is 11, 11D, same as Red Wing and Wolverine and uh, most boot companies. Nyx asks you to send in tracings of your foot and go through that whole rigmarole. I sent them just my own measurements of my ball, instep, heel, ankle, length, and width. 
and I just got an 11, which wasn't a surprise. A big bonus is that these shoes come in every width you can possibly imagine. Everything from double A to quadruple F, widths I did not know existed before I came to NYX. And as much as I was fearing a brutal break-in, like I said, I didn't have one at all. And NYX are pretty well known for their tough break-in, so it seems I have that 1964 leather to thank for that, so definitely worth getting if that's what you're worried about. So comfort-wise, they're not uncomfortable boots. But I do want to bring to your attention that it is a very serious boot. It's a very in-your-face boot, a very booty boot. The grippy lugs are unparalleled and it's by far the tallest heel I've ever had on a boot. Now, if you're wondering why heels like this exist, for starters, if you don't already know that, then it's a, there's a good chance this boot isn't for you. Big heels like this help you to get like purchased on a ladder. They're useful for like linemen, they're good for motorcycles, for using a shovel, things like that, that are very useful for guys who use them as work boots in certain contexts. If you are someone who, like me, primarily uses boots to walk around the city, I'm not totally sure you're gonna love them. I mean, there's the novelty of a big heel, there's the height that you get, if that's attractive, but like they stump, man. If you're indoors, you'll be heard many rooms away. They're casual, but they're not to be taken lightly, if you understand what I'm trying to say here. Like they don't blend into the city the way that like a Red Wing boot or one of like the lower profile NYX boots do that I mentioned earlier. And like, if what you want is a boot that you can work hard in, but doesn't look too out of place under jeans at a bar, then yes, these are good boots for you. If you want a boot that can go anywhere from the street to the field, to chores, to a motorbike, then these are very, very good boots and maybe the best boots for you. But I encourage you to really think about what these are for before you make this $559 purchase, which is the minimum this costs. And it's more for like, nickel eyelets or a toe cap or certain leathers. Like right now, if you get veg tan leather with gunmetal eyelets and a four row toe cap and like honey vibram soles, these will wind up almost 800 bucks. You also have to wait at least four months for them to be made, maybe more. So these aren't for the impatient man or the penny pinching man. You, you need to really, really want this boot and not just like any NYX boot because you like the NYX boot brand. You know what I mean? Like you gotta pick the right tool for the job. Uh, I saw a guy on Reddit say something like what I'm trying to articulate here. He said, quote, these are stupidly overbuilt for my lifestyle. I never leave the house during COVID. I'm wearing these on carpet. What the hell do I need these for? I love them though. They weigh at least 47 times as much as my Viberg service boots. Now, uh, that guy, Buckeye South, he loved his boots to be clear and I like them too. But like, if you actually aren't going to do work in these boots and you don't need two extra inches of height, I'd say the Urban Lager might feel a, a bit like cosplay. Truthfully, as a guy who loves boots for all the reasons you can love a boot, except for doing manual labor in them, it's very embarrassing to say that, but like, let's be real, I'm wearing and reviewing these as a guy who leans more in the style direction. And as me, wearing these almost feels like stolen valor. Like, like I'm not doing work in these. And it sometimes just feels a bit like I'm playing dress up wearing such serious boots as a city guy. If you're a country dude, get them. If not, I think NYX Falcon or Americana are probably more for you. NYX construction and quality is worth having for anyone who likes having like durable footwear. Any boot you get from NYX though will last like for decades. It doesn't have to be this one, unless it's for you. I'm hoping I'm not gonna lose any viewers saying that, but like I think it would be disingenuous for me to pretend that I'm a logger uh, because I'm not. I'm the, I'm the urban half of the urban logger and I'm trying to review these as a boot fan and not as a fake lumberjack and it makes more sense to me to have a more subdued construction like the Falcon where 100% of the boot is for me instead of the urban logger where it feels like half of it is for me. You know, you know what I mean? With that said though, uh, these boots really will handle anything and everything you can possibly throw at them. And uh, this leather, this leather in particular, the 1964 leather is really good for limiting the famous break-in as well. So definitely worth getting that. If you work on your feet and need super tough footwear, these will get you anywhere you need to go. If you wear boots casually, they might be too serious and overbuilt for pure casual wear. <sighs> that was a stressful one. Uh, that's my review of the NYX Urban Lugger. NYX is a fantastic company. Uh, the quality they do is, is just out of this world. There are very few companies that uh, meet their standards and meet the level of like durability 
and quality and hand craftsmanship. These are very, very handmade. I've been showing you footage of like uh, from Nick's YouTube channel throughout this video, so you can see like the kind of like skill and uh, you know real toughness of these boots sort of uh, embody. They're very serious, very tall, uh, very hardy boots. If you need something to work in, great. Uh, yeah, if not, maybe not. Uh, but definitely consider getting Nick's. Uh, I would personally lean more in the direction of like the Falcon or the Americana. Me, personally. You might love these. Let me know if anything I'm saying makes sense here, uh, if that resonates with you, uh, because you're definitely, there's definitely like, the people who watch boot videos are split into like people who need them for work and people who uh, like them for other reasons, tend to be in that other group. And I think a lot of the guys who uh, watch my videos like boots because they're like supportive and comfortable, look cool, age well, uh, save the money in the long run, that kind of stuff, uh, yeah. I'm repeating myself, that's my video. Subscribe if you just went up here uh, and uh, definitely let me know in the comments below. Yeah, like what do you think of these boots? If you own them and if you consider getting them and why, and if not, why as well? Let's get the conversation going because these are very interesting boots uh, and they've caused an identity crisis in me that uh, no boot before ever has. <laughs> but that just speaks to like the incredibly uh, high quality and thoughtfulness that goes into a pair of Nick's boots. So uh, yeah, consider them. Link in the description below if you wanna buy them. That's the whole video. All right, I'll see you later guys. Stick around for the next one.